the outwash. As you can see here, the brakes have been locked, smoke coming out from the tire, and look at the uh, where the wind is actually going here. Yeah? It's going away from the car. And this is actually engineered by aerodynamics yeah? starting from the front wing. We're on the outside here. We try to get the air away from the car and to draft the um, wake from the front tire and the trail winds away from the main body where they want to work on downforce and the uh, main aerodynamics. Yeah? So now that the FIS banned it, the wings look very simple. So teams are back into combat mode yeah, on outwash. So in this particular video, we look into um, probably other areas besides the wing. Yeah, on creating hours in, in specifically over here, we're gonna look at the brake ducts. Yeah, and the air going through the wheel. They've done. They've done it before. Uh, Red Bull famously did it with a blown hub. So let's see this season, yeah, how far they want to um, get outwash from the, um, the wheel and also the front wing. So you can see here racing point, medium sized brake duct and the wing, this year's wing. This is Williams. Quite large, yeah. Uh, McLaren, very, very um, small but very uh, tall, yeah. Taking a wind, a lot of wind from the tire. This is a uh, Renault, and you can see quite big, yeah, Renault. Um, Haas and Red Bull, yeah. Red Bull is quite small, but they've got other intakes below it so it's important to note that um, roughly all of their brakes are there and they're about the same strength yeah so if we were to see a small brake duct yeah probably every team is able to run that same size of a brake duct but so it means to say that if we see a big one um, they're probably doing more things to it yeah with the extra airflow going through the duct Um, for example, they, this is a Mercedes AMG and they've got a rather small air duct. So if you, we see a big one, then probably uh, there's something going on there. This is a medium sized Alfa Romeo and um, Toro Rosso, yeah? Small Toro Rosso. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because actually because Ferrari, yeah? Um, they've got a rather large brake duct, so we will see what's, what, they, what, what they're trying to do, yeah? Here is Alfa Romeo without the wheels. This is uh, the brake covers. And as you can see, they've got small in intake here. And there's also a, like a, um, a passage here from the inner wheel to the outer wheel. This is um, Mercedes-Benz Bahrain. And you can also see there's a small slot here and there's a line showing the passenger from the here intake to the outer wheel. So this is the new version of uh, Mercedes AMG's um, brake cover. And you can see now if we've moved the outer bit probably to flow even more air. So you can see the um, recessed bit here. Yeah, It's even more recessed. So also focus on the brake outlet. Yeah? on the brake um, vents. This is flat, yeah, flat vents. And they're coming out from here. And Red Bull. You can see the silver bit here. They've covered it. That probably is also going past the brake covers, yeah. So now, um, Ferrari. Uh, when I designed this particular lines here, yeah, on the previous video, it was quite difficult for me to design the one that goes up because um, I wanted to make a smooth line but the uh, brake ducts were, was always in the way so as you can see here that's because uh, the, actually the brake ducts is in the way by design probably um, to get air from the front wing so looking over here we can see that the wing sort of really really aims 
for the inner inner tire and sort of to trap the uh, air between the inner tire and the brake ducts yeah sort of like to wedge it and force it into the brake duct so as you can as you can see here again look it's sort of pointing towards the that entrapment yeah so here we can see um Ferrari's um upright and look at the brake you can see inside here this one goes to the brakes yeah this ventilation but you can see also here this particular one and probably the one in front there you can see a recess here so some of it or quite a lot of it probably is um, going past this wheel yeah so this is how it looks like Ferrari wants to generate uh, outwash it looks seems that the front wing is strongly designed around um, creating outwash with the uh, brake duct and the front wheel yeah so there's going to be more and more uh, air coming out of the, uh, the uh, wheel yeah on the outer wheel so are we going to see um, bigger brake ducts this season and even probably even smaller diameter brakes here yeah? this just a slightly smaller so they could actually flow more, more air through the disc or even use the disc vents more prominently to create outwasher yeah? now let's look at this again you can see that all the other brakes they have a flat flat uh, uh, vents here yeah but Ferrari is special yeah they've got a recessed vent here so why is this yeah? is, is it to flow even more air out from the disc better cooling but um, obviously if you got uh, if this was straight this there would be more cooling material yeah going out of the disc brakes so probably there's a reason for this but uh, uh, you're here to see why yeah